Hey, JC. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. After basically kicking my ass in that tournament battle, I felt really shitty, and I asked S Doom Knight X Doom Knight to rematch me in a standard battle so I could try and redeem myself. And he luckily said yes, so here's what came out of that. So I, I, I'm i sashed, and I switch out because I don't want to get faked out, but he T-waves, and that process ends up being a bitch, as you can see right there, could have will-o-wisped, but I got paralyzed, so, because that happens a lot lately. And then he tricks me, and I'm like, fucking Christ, like, who uses, I hate trick so much, I just, I hate trick! And I try to pursue him, but he stays in, and it does shit, so... Whatever. So I end up going to this dude, but he switches out. I go, Ferris, because fucking Ferris can do shit. He'll either rape some people, or he'll die. That's what Ferris does. So I go to my dude on the Stealth Rocks, because I don't want to break a sash, and just in case I can live an earthquake and shit. And I get up rocks myself. And we're both spinners with rocks, but uh, he's got the clear advantage of being bulky here. And I was like, if I live this ice shard, I will cream my pants. And I live at one, which is just awesome, because I think this is like the second or third time I've lived at one. And uh, I spin his rocks away just so he has to set them back up, because I'm annoying like that. But, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, it was against Jezzard, uh, fucking Leech Seed and Life Orb, left Ferris at one. That was awesome. So he, he gets his rocks back up without being burned, and then he spins up. And uh, I got a Willow West on him now, because I got paralyzed again, for fuck Christ. Fucking sakes. Fuck sakes. Jesus Christ, I can't even talk. Let alone I get hacks all the time when I do it. Anyways, I know he's going to switch there, so I Willow West again, because I'm pro. And uh, that's just going to whittle down the Porygon too, because it stole my fucking Umbreon's leftovers. Because it's a fucking sneaky-ass bastard. And um, uh, Ferris has good special defense, because Ferris is very physically weak. He's got very skinny arms and legs. But they are powerful. Because, as you can see, he just destroys this duck up close with some combating. So, go Ferris. Fuck yeah. And the Porygon 2 dies. So, that's awesome. And he goes to his own him only, which is a dead giveaway that it's scarfed, in my opinion. And I just fodder some uh, Kabutops. Wipe my ass. See what he locks himself into, and he locks himself into a close combat, and he stayed in for some reason, I don't know why, and I was like, oh right, I'm gonna burn this motherfucker right here, but I get fucking paralyzed, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, ah, 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 so I decide, well, he's probably gonna stay in, and with two defense drops, flamethrower should do a lot, but he decides to switch now, but I get a burn anyways, and that burn was useless hacks, you'll see later why, but... He makes a really nice prediction here, me going into Umbreon, which was pretty obvious, but I just, I didn't think that it would have Signal Beam, but I forget, everybody likes Signal Beam over Shadow Ball, except for me. Okay, I guess I'm weird. But Umbreon's just so beast, he can live too, and it specs too. That's also quite, yeah, that's good. So I get a wish up, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna heal up Ferris, because Ferris is too weak. He's getting weak, he's getting down there, and then some wish comes through, I'm like, yeah! <clears throat> but it's a fucking Gliscor, and I, he's probably going to do something, I don't know, like, I don't know. But he Swords Dances, I figured it would be some kind of sweeper, because he's got Dawn Fan as a wall. And if he had a bulk team, I would just, like, flip shits. And he, uh, I had to go for the will because he got a Swords Dance, I figured he might bank on me getting Parahacks, because that happens all the time. But, guess not. And then I get to fodder my Umbreon, which is fun. And he locks himself in a Thunderbolt, because, yep. He knows he can kill him. And, uh, he knows I have priority. And I went for the Sucker Punch instead of the Mock Punch because I didn't want to take unnecessary Life Orb recoil. It's only 24, but it, it seemed like I'd rather do that at the time. Because I figure my Wish Passer is gone. That's what it was. And then he predicts my switch into Weezing and goes to Ambipom. And I'm like, okay, well, that's not really going to matter much because I can wall your ass. So he fakes me out. Yeah, and uh, I flinch. And then he double hits and he misses, but I get parahaxed, so that's gay. And he double hits again, and he misses, but I get parahaxed again, so it's gay. Because I could have had a burn already. But I, I always get paralyzed, Jesus Christ. I had a guy, he didn't get parahaxed once out of like six turns. And then I get paralyzed like six times out of like eight here. This is bullshit. So he finally hit a double hit and I pain split just to see how much it'll do. 
I, I didn't know if he was life orb. Or maybe I... Okay, well, whatever. Regardless, I burn him now, which should have happened like three turns ago. And now I'm just basically... I don't want... I don't know. Maybe I, sh I should have switched out because it was burned. Whatever. Should have gone to Hitmonlee or some shit like that. Because now Weezing's just getting whittled down too. And I'm just like... Well, this is actually a waste of a Weezing now that I look back on it. But it, I was just playing really safe, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. I get paralyzed. So that's fun. But he dies anyways. But I still got paralyzed. So that pisses me off. Because it's like, really? More? Okay, That's not fair. So he close combats. And that kills me. And, uh, Scarf Hitmonlee. He's raping shit right now. And, uh, I was, like, saving the Zapdos. Because I was like, okay. HP Ice is going to wreck that Gliscor. But he's, he makes a great move. And he stays in and close combats me. And then I get a HP Ice. And it doesn't kill it because it's not stab and shit. And he gets a crit struggle. What the fuck is that? Crit struggle? Are you kidding me? Because now I can't switch out. That's bullshit. He crit struggled me. Like, what the hell? HP Ice was, like, the only way I could take down that Gliscor easily. And the Dawn fan. But he crit struggles me. And yeah, I'm scarfed, so there was no point in locking myself into an electric move anyways. But he just stayed in because he was smart. He's smart, I guess. So I'm kind of fed up, and I'm like, okay, I'm going for it. So I bring out my last guy, who is my 44 caliber scissor. And it is so nice to see how little that earthquake does. That burn is huge, because it's going to let me get up another swords dance. I think that's two. And uh, sadly, at this point, bullet punch is still not going to one-hit KO from that HP. So I'm forced to superpower. And because I superpower, that means I'm not going to be able to one-hit KO the Gliscor, but it doesn't matter, because he knows I've got the match in the bag. And I didn't want to take another Earthquake, because I didn't think Life Orb would keep me alive. And that's why the burn didn't matter, because I have Quick Attack, because I'm so fucking cool having Quick Attack on my Scizor. But um, I bullet punch the Gliscor, and he Swords Dances for lols, and then I kill it again. But anyways, thank you for letting me redeem myself. x -Team, you are a great battler. We will have some more rematches. And uh, thank you guys for watching my videos. Rate, comment, subscribe. And angry narrations are just awesome, I guess, because that's just... Hopefully I keep getting hacks. See ya!